This tutorial will show you how to create a connected installation using a gateway kit, a two-gang connected socket outlet, a connected switch, and a wireless switch. Before any work on the electrical installation, it is vital to cut off the power at the main switch, both for safety reasons and to ensure optimum installation. Let's start with the gateway. The gateway allows to create the radio network and the Wi-Fi connection of your connected installation. It should be installed in a location where it can pick up a good Wi-Fi signal. To install the gateway, you need one one-gang flush mounting box and one gateway taken from the gateway kit. The connected gateway is flush mounted in a one-gang box which should be at least 35 mm deep. Connect the wires to the screw terminals, the neutral wire and the phase wire. Mount the gateway in its flush mounting box. Next, let's install the two-gang connected socket outlet. To install the two-gang connected socket outlet, you need one two-gang flush mounting box at least 35 mm deep and one two-gang connected socket outlet. Note that a one-gang version of the connected socket is also available. The two-gang connected socket outlet mounts in a two-gang flush mounting box at least 35 mm deep. It is wired just as a traditional socket outlet. Connect the phase wire to the phase terminal of the socket, then connect the phase wire of socket number one to the phase wire of socket number two. Proceed the same way for the neutral wire and for the earth wire. Mount the connected socket outlet in its flush mounting box. Next, install the connected switch. The connected light switch requires prior installation of the gateway pack so it can control lights locally or remotely via the Home Plus Control app. It controls all types of lamps for LEDs and CFLs up to 100 watts LED and for halogen and incandescent lamps up to 500 watts. To install the connected switch, you need one one-gang flush mounting box and one connected switch. Note that the connected switch is also available in two-gang and three-gang versions. The connected switch is mounted in a one-gang flush mounting box, which should be 25 mm deep. It can replace an existing switch. Connect the wires to the screw terminals. Connect the neutral wire to the neutral terminal of the mechanism. Connect the phase wire to the phase terminal of the mechanism. And connect the cut-off phase wire to the cut-off phase terminal of the mechanism. The connected light switch is wired exactly like a traditional switch. Like the light switch functions, all connected wired curtain or roller blind switches are installed in the same way as a traditional roller blind control. You have to add the neutral wire. To finalize the installation, you need to configure the home and away wireless master switch supplied with the gateway kit. This will allow you to open the network. Turn the power back on. The LEDs will light up with a steady red light. The home and away wireless master switch will allow you to configure products to work together. Remove the battery protection tab. To activate the home and away wireless master switch, briefly press anywhere on its surface. The LED blinks green and then goes off. The LED on the gateway also goes off. Move close to the connected gateway and simultaneously press on both the upper and lower ends of the home and away wireless master switch. Hold down until the master switch LED lights up green, then release. The LED on the home and away wireless master switch then goes off. The LEDs on the installed wired products light up green. This means that the network is open. Now let's look at how to add a wireless switch. Remove the battery protection tab. To activate the wireless switch, briefly press anywhere on its surface. The LED blinks green and then goes off. Press and keep pressing on the bottom of the wireless switch while tapping three times on the wired product you wish to control. The LEDs on both products will blink quickly in blue, then light up briefly steady in blue before going off. The LED on the wired product will revert to green. Simultaneously, exert a short press on both the upper and lower ends of the switch. The LED will blink three times, then the LEDs will switch off on all products. All products can be controlled by the Home and Away wireless master switch. Place the stickers provided on the back of the Home and Away wireless master switch. Your connected installation can be managed remotely using the Home Plus Control app. 
connected installation can be controlled via a voice assistant such as the Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa or Apple Siri.